Fajnou pohádku, Zík. OK, this is Zík getting a red light session after being injured by a horse. Brian's using a two light bridging technique. It's an advanced technique that we use with two lights. Oh, did we find it? So the protocol for this type would be to um, red light at least twice a day. We'll do a follow -up. This is day one when he got, if he got kicked. We're going to show you where it actually hurts on him. It's actually right in front of the scapula and right down there. Right there. So we're gonna do, we're gonna go a couple days. We're gonna red light this, and we're gonna have down to give down to the red lights. We're just gonna put them right on the area where the pain is. See if we can get a little relief. We'll be looking for him to. Here's another one. Lick and chew. See if we can take care of that pain, and show you guys how this all works. Right now he's lame. He can't put any weight on this paw. And there's the lick and chew showing that he's actually got some relief to the pain. And the earlier you can catch this, the better off it is. We didn't see it happen, we just heard it, so we, we had to examine him and find it. And unfortunately, sometimes you have to find the spot that hurts in order to make it happen. All right, so we'll bring you back on uh, next day and we'll keep videoing and let you guys know how this goes. After 24 hours with Zeke, all we've done with him is the light treatment, and he is getting around. He's still uh, favoring the leg. As you see, she's doing more than she was able to do yesterday. He's got a little tenderness, but he's not screaming out. So we'll go ahead and we'll work on him again today, and uh, we'll film him again tomorrow. All right, this is Zeke, 48 hours after his accident. Bring him this way, please. Zeke, come here. As you can see, he's more perkier, he's getting around. He's had red light sessions about twice a day. We'll be doing another one yet today, so there you go. All right, this is Zeke on day four after we've done red lighting. Zeke, come here. As you can see, he's basically walking. Pretty normal already. He's running around. And come on, Zeke. And going pretty good, as you can see. Just asked him to go find a ball. Find a ball, Zeke. He's hopping around like he should be. So to reiterate, these are great for any dogs that have a, a sensitivity or it's just the first time they ever use lights and we want to get them used to it. But the big thing is it puts them into what's called parasympathetic mode. So now they're ready to have any other kind of light work done to them.